the endurance trial is a phase three trial that was designed to ask two important questions in myeloma. Uh, one is carfilzomib a better proteasome inhibitor to be used in a proteasome inhibitor immunomodulatory dexamethasone uh, triplet for initial therapy of newly diagnosed multiple myeloma uh, in terms of uh, efficacy? And two, uh, how long should we continue the treatment for patients with multiple myeloma who are newly diagnosed? The uh, clinical trial enrolled uh, newly diagnosed myeloma patients who were not intending to proceed to an early autologous stem cell transplant and who did not have high risk uh, characteristics like translocation 1416, 1420, deletion 17P, uh, plasma cell leukemia, or elevated LDH. These patients uh, were uh, randomized uh, to receiving treatment either with botasmib lenalidomide dexamethasone, which is currently the standard of care, or to carfilzomib lenalidomide dexamethasone, um, which uh, has been shown to be quite effective in phase two trials. Uh, patients received um, nine cycles of carfilzomib lenalidomide dexamethasone or 12 cycles of botasmib lenalidomide dexamethasone. Carfilzomib was given for an uh, uh, or, you know, as four-week cycles, while, while BOTUS maybe was given as three-week cycles. Patients were uh, followed for um, response as well as disease progression. Uh, at the time of the uh, second interim analysis, um, when the trial met the overall planned number of uh, events, um, we found that there was no difference in the progression-free survival between the carfilzomib and the botasmib based triplets. The um, progression-free survival was approximately 34 months in both the arms. In terms of response, the overall response rate was quite comparable. Around 85% of patients in both um, arms had a, a partial response or better. However, the uh, deeper responses, like very good partial response, was higher in patients getting the carfilzomib lenalidomide dexamethasone uh, combination. However, um, we did find um, more um, grade three and higher non-hematological toxicity with carfilzomib, lenalidomide, and dexamethasone. Uh, in particular, uh, we found increased rates of cardiac, pulmonary, and uh, renal toxicity with carfilzomib compared to botasmib combination. In contrast, the botasmib combination had higher rates of peripheral neuropathy with approximately 8% grade three or higher uh, peripheral neuropathy seen with that combination, consistent with what we have seen in the um, past uh, clinical trials using this combination. We um, did not see any difference in the overall survival either uh, up until now. Uh, the three-year estimate for overall survival is roughly about 85% in both the arms. So in um, conclusion, the clinical trial essentially tells us that uh, substituting the botasmib with a new uh, proteasome in inhibitor like carfilzomib in patients with newly diagnosed myeloma, not intended for an early stem cell transplant and without high risk characteristics, um, they, uh, it does not lead to a better uh, outcome. Um, so botasmib lenalidomide dexamethasone should continue to be the standard of care for these patients. The trial does not address whether one regimen is better than the other in patients with high-risk disease or in patients who are using the injection therapy uh, as um, uh, the initial treatment to proceed to an autologous stem cell transplant. Those questions will have to be answered through uh, future clinical trials.